Hello, welcome to Scrap Time, episode 930. My name is Christina, and on today's episode, I'm showing you some products from Hazel and Ruby. So I am excited today to show you some products from Hazel and Ruby. It's a new company, and I'm showing you the stencil masks. This one is the Blind Side Alphabet, and it is about one and three quarters inches tall. And then here we have the Broadside Alphabet, which is about two and a half inches tall, so a lot bigger. And then they also sell paper, but in rolls. This is like a tissue paper and then an actual paper. There's a few sheets in here, but you get a longer sheet versus just a 12 by 12. So you can do so many other bigger projects with this paper and it's um, a softer paper than a regular cardstock. So you can use it for wrapping, you can use it to make big flowers, whatever fun uh, craft you want to do. So I'm going to show you what I made. So here I did an art journal page and I used the smaller alphabet, the blind side I think it is, um, with the collage of the paper and tissue underneath it and some paint. And then I put black gesso over top and then just used my white paint pen for a little border around the edge. And then I did basically the same thing on a card just to show you that you can use it on so many different projects. So we're going to make a card today. So I have this color already laid down that I had previously done. And I'm going to just take my tissue in that and rip some. I'm going to rip a few pieces. I won't need that much because I'm just making a card and I'm going to do the same with my paper. I just leave it and rip some of it off. start with that. I'm using matte medium on my card. So I'm going to start collaging this on. Now I want a lot of um, the paper to on the background because since I'm not exactly sure where I'm putting my letters I want some of that to show through. So I can just rip this off here. So I don't want to just do the outsides. I want to do a lot of the inside so um, I know some of this will show through once I apply my gesso. Now the background here was a permanent color so it's not um, being transferred over my paper whereas in one of those other ones it was like some spray inks or something in the backdrop so when I do that the color got transferred um, onto my papers to alter the color a little. But if you wanted to alter it, you could always paint over um, paint over it to give it a different tint as well. So I'm just randomly putting on some paper. Because I don't, I want some of the color to show through too. I don't want just paper. So that's probably good like that. Now, if this was an actual, if I was leaving it like that, um, I would have done my collage a lot different. But because I know that I am gessoing over it, I think it's fine. So I now want to dry it to make sure that my multimedium is completely dry. So it's now time to add on my letters and you can see these are like a sticky sort of vinyl finish that are reusable so it's completely different to anything else you've been using so far. So I start by putting it down where I think it might go and then I may end up changing it once I get the other ones on I might have to move it over a bit more so you can see how here 
I don't like that centering, so I'm going to just peel this off and move it over a little. So then this can move over. means my V's got to move over. Now I'm using the larger letters for this, but you could always, you know, do a different word in the smaller letters. And then there's also shapes and patterns. It's not all alphabets. I just happen to have the alphabets. And then we're going to place the E on. And I'm just going to turn this around so I can See what it looks like. That's okay. So I have my letters on. I'm just going to rub them down and because they're sticky they stay in place. So now I'm going to use black gesso and I like to use black gesso because it is nice and dark and I find just gives you a darker finish than black paint. And I'm going to paint directly over the entire thing. So the letters, everything. So you can see how nice and black that gesso really is. And the gesso will also dry in a matte finish. And it dries fairly quickly too, as you can see. So I make sure I got everywhere I want to get. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to grab a paper towel to clean off the table. And you can see already that the gesso is starting to dry in areas. So now we want to just peel off our letters. Oops. You can see a bit of my my um, paper came up. It was probably not glued on enough with my multimedia. down here to get that B. So there we have love and um, the color and the paper all sort of pops through and I can go over with my white marker once it's all dry and add a few details to it and then I can go back over and seal it all down with my multimedia just where this paper ended up not being completely adhered down. And that is the Hazel and Ruby stencil masks as well as the rolls of tissue paper and paper. So check out their site to see all of their great new products. Well, that's it for today's episode. Be sure to check out our website at www.scraptime.ca. And on our next episode, I'm showing you Wendy Vecchi's Stamp It Stencil It kits. So please join us. Thanks for watching Scrap Time.